McLaren have continued to flex their muscle this season. This as Lando Norris claimed pole position in the Singapore Grand Prix. The Constructors Championship leaders backed a win in Azerbaijan last weekend through Oscar Piastri. Norris will be under pressure this time around, though, at the Marina Bay uh, street circuit, as he's, of course, looking to fend off the challenge that is going to be coming from the reigning world champion Max Verstappen, who sits with him in the front row, and the seven-time world champion Sir Lewis Hamilton, who is behind him in the second row on the grid. Joining me now to look ahead to the race is Motors RTV founder and a good friend of ENCA Sport, Rufe Felenko Simayaki. So, Fluffy, good morning to you. They've taken the constructor's title. I'm saying it now. The, <laughs> <laughs> About eight more races to go, including this one, but they've taken the constructor's title, McLaren. Can Lando actually pose a challenge to the world champion? Good morning, Morena, and thank you for having me once again. Um, taking the constructors, you think so? Yeah. Okay. Um, I can put my salary on it. <laughs> well, send it to me, <laughs> bruv. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, but they do have one hand on it the constructors McLaren. Uh, they're the only team yesterday that uh, only used one set of tires in Q1. So that's now, that's usually Red Bull's brand, yeah. but now it's with them. Um, so it shows that they do have a, a firm grip on dominating the sessions in Formula One. Lando, I don't know, I don't know. Let's see how today goes. I think in our next discussion, uh, for the U.S. Grand Prix will have a clearer picture. He's got a terrible record of starting in pole and then first lap, he just, you know, he fumbled the bag. Yeah, he's never led on lap one when he started on pole. And including the sprints, I think he started on pole six times. So it's not a good omen for him, but one day it's got to break.